When something resonates, it doesn't mean it is good. By Inelia Benz. After publishing the article, it's time to throw the baby out with the bathwater, a piece of information has been coming in various locations and it's insisting to be aired. In that article, I spoke a lot about resonance and dissonance, but I didn't mention the fact that when something resonates with us, it is not necessarily good. Sometimes our programs can hijack our resonance dissonance compass. Here is an example. A person has been brought up to believe that teachers are good and that everything they say is true, that a teacher can be trusted, that they know better than us, and that we need to disregard our belief or knowledge about a topic and adopt theirs instead. In this example, the program described above runs very deeply. So when the person hears something the teacher says, the program dictates the resonance dissonance of the information. And because the program says the teacher is always right, the person's own knowledge becomes dissonant, making the teacher right, resonant to the program. Another example. A person runs a very strong program that says everyone on the planet is asleep. The person then meets someone who's awake but teaches that everyone on the planet is asleep. The person hears these teachings and feels that is completely resonant. They'll then tell others that this teacher is spot on and their teachings completely resonant. In this second example, the teaching is wrong but it resonates deeply as true for the person because the person is carrying a program that says it is true. My resonance dissonance compass. One might think, if I can't trust my resonance dissonance compass, then how can I navigate my life? Here are a few tools that you can use to discern resonance to empowerment versus resonance to low frequency belief systems. The belief system is based on the suffering of self or others being positive. There is righteousness in the belief. The belief is based on fear. The belief means that you or another person are a victim. The belief needs a martyr. There is a need for you or another person to make sacrifices. The belief has the words all, none, never, always, the only one, or other all-encompassing words. The words used are disempowering to yourself or others. The belief attacks others in order to be right. The person and their words invalidate others to make him or herself right. The belief bolsters your or another person's ego. The belief excludes all other teachings, teachers and belief systems because it or the teacher holds the only true answers. Also very useful is to start doing the resonance dissonance exercise, where you allow your body to help you in detecting a true resonance versus a hijacked resonance. When something is dissonant, it feels a bit off or not quite right or a bit tight, a bit heavy, low frequency. Something that is resonant feels free, clear, good, light, flows right. Say something you know is true, like your given name. My name is, and add your name here, and then feel in your body and your energy field if this is completely true. Sometimes we have to change the words until it's fully resonant, like the name my parents gave me is, add the name here, and you have a full resonant frequency. Now say something that is not true, like my name is Lamp. That will feel dissonant. Another example, next time you sit down say, I am sitting down right now. Then try the words, my physical body is sitting down right now. Test to see which one is more resonant. 
with a belief system, say the words and see if you feel the resonance, part resonance, change the words until they are fully resonant, and also feel for righteousness, fear, or other of the listed energies in your body to see if they come up. Sometimes we need to define words for ourselves in order to get a full resonance. For example, reincarnation is the return of a soul to a human physical body in order to have more physical experiences. Might have a different frequency if we use the words reincarnation is a trap the soul is in that is very hard to get out of. The first sentence on that last example is empowering and free of dogma. The second is disempowering and has a victim, the soul. There are many, many examples and words, sentences, people, belief systems and programs we can test for resonance and dissonance. If you'd like to discuss this with me, join me at walkwithmenow.com where I'm opening a forum discussion on this topic. Explore discernment more deeply. I remember I have created a class where the issue of discernment is explored more deeply. Read the excerpt below. When we receive information, whether using timelines or picking it up from Cosmos, it is important to test it for accuracy and it's also important to check it for hijackers. Hijackers are entities and sometimes our own ego or strongly held beliefs that will color the information as it arrives. The best way to test the information is to see if it is resonant at all levels. We can learn how to test for resonance by doing a very simple little exercise. State your given name out loud. For example, my given name is Alexis. Your entire body will feel resonance at the statement. Now state that your given name is a different one to the real one. So for example, if your name is Alexis, you would state something like, my given name is Lauren. When you state that your given name is one that is not the real one, your body, emotional and energy field will vibrate with dissonance. This is an excerpt from Mining Timelines. If you like this video, click subscribe and the notification button to get further updates.